Morning, Colts. Colts. I'm Alec, your super califragilistic, expialidociously awesome anchor. And I'm Alessio, the better one, and this is KTV for May 2nd, 2023. Hey, do you know that this week is Teacher Appreciation Day? Yeah, I do. Teacher Appreciation Day appreciates all the teachers for what they have done. Correct, even faculty members. So when you go into a classroom, maybe leave a little note or say something to your teacher so they know you appreciate them. We have a video about that right now. You know a teacher that holds a club? Mr. Chadwell, the Pride Club. Yeah, I bet you knew that. You go I got every it. Wednesday. Of course. There's always parties. I love the pizza. About that, there's one last Pride Club party at the end of the school year, but it has cupcakes. Leadership always throws the best fun Fridays. You know what else is fun? Bringing your teddy bear to school. I might bring mine on stuffed animal day. I'll bring my stuffed Winnie the Pooh. Hey Colts, remember to bring a charged Chromebook to school every single day now that we are testing. The only test I'm looking forward to is the state fitness test in PE, so I can get it out of the way. Speaking of fitness, let's go check in with the sports corner. I gotta get the sports corner. <laughs> Morning, Colts. I'm Allie with your Kenilworth Sports News. Today, the Kenilworth Sprinters will be running at league trials, but students are required not to attend. Everyone, however, everyone may attend league finals on Thursday, May 4, to support your runners in the last meet of the year at Petaluma High School. In some Costa news, for girls who want to play basketball at Costa Grande, there's open gyms on Tuesdays and Thursdays in the gym. Make sure to check it out if you are interested. Lastly, in NBA news, the Warriors finished Game 7, 20 points above the Canes. Take the L, Canes fans. Hopefully, the Warriors carry, carry on the winning streak against the Lakers. Think, that's all for sports. Now back to the KTV studio. Thanks for that sports report, Allie. After I get out of PE, I need to go to the office. Make sure to check in at the office window before you enter. Hopefully it won't be cold when I'm checking in. I hate standing out in the cold in the open. Let's check in with the weather studio. Good morning, Colts. This is Rochelle in the Weather Studio, and today there will be a high of 56 degrees with a chance of rain. And on Wednesday, it seems to be mostly cloudy with 59 degrees. Meanwhile, on Thursday, there seems to be a slight increased chance of rain with 56 degrees. While on Friday, it will be mostly cloudy with the following 59 degrees. Next week, though, it seems to be partly cloudy with Wednesday being the only day that's mostly sunny with the following 65 degrees. That's all for now, Colts. Now back to the KTV Studio. Thanks for that weather report, Rochelle. Hey, robotics students, do you want to help out volunteering at the KJHS robotics table? Now you can. Miss Rennie is looking for volunteers. I want to focus on something maybe like the robotics events. Oh yeah, I forgot. Current and former robotics students, we need volunteers for the event called The Heart of Us. Petaluma City, School, uh, City School's art showing opening night, The Heart of Us, on Wednesday, May 3rd at Lucchese 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 Community Center. The time is set up from 5 to 5.30, but the event is from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. And the cleanup time is 7.30 to 8 o'clock. Students can volunteer for one to three hours. I will give Miss Rennie will give the students 10 points of extra credit for every hour of volunteering. If you are interested, please have your parent slash guardian email Miss Rennie at krennie at pekk12.org to confirm that you can attend and for which hours. It would be hard to do that on an empty stomach. Yeah. What's for lunch today? I hope it's pizza. Well, it's not pizza, but it's cheeseburgers, chicken nuggets, and a chicken and rice burrito. That sounds so good. But you know what it would be hard to do when you're hungry? Focus. Oh, yeah. Do you have a hard time focusing in class? Does your teacher always yell at you and give you detention? Well, you should try focusing. It really helps. Focusing requires lots of things. Some of these things can be hard to get, but if you remember to get all the distractions out of your head... Then you can try focusing. Things that distract you are like barriers, blocking you from focusing. In order to pass these distractions, like your cousin from Alabama or your Jordan's getting stepped on, you must pay attention and listen to your teacher. By doing this, you'll have an easier time understanding the teachers and focusing on schoolwork. You know what people probably focused on a lot? 
Osama bin Laden. We have a video from Keegan about it. Let's watch it now. And the best overall middle school film with $100 at least, we have a video with India. Let's go watch it. And the best overall middle school film with a $100 cash prize to the teacher's classroom is The Innocents. Come on! <laughs> the Innocents from Calvary Junior High School from India Mitchell and Ella Hillstead. <laughs> Well, that's great, India. Congrats. Well, I guess that's it for the show today. And, and that's, that's KTV. KTV.